Hi, I'm David from Brilliant Directories. We get asked a lot about privately embedding YouTube and Vimeo videos on a website. You know, how to make sure that the video can only be viewed where it's been embedded and nowhere else and that it can't be shared. You know, so you may want to have a video section on your website for uh, educational or training courses, for internal company videos, or any other premium type video content, but you only want to have it be viewable on your website and nowhere else on the internet. And we all know that when you upload videos to YouTube or Vimeo, which are the best tools for streaming content, that the videos are usually public and anyone can view them. So in this video, I'll show you how to make your videos private and only viewable on your website. We'll split this video into halves. The first half will focus on YouTube and then we'll go ahead and move on to Vimeo. But before we get started, it is good to keep in mind that if you want your videos to be found and listed uh, in Google and indexed, then it's best to upload these videos to YouTube. YouTube is the second largest search engine and since it's part of Google, YouTube videos are actually indexed more within Google than Vimeo videos. But if all you're going to be doing is uploading the videos only to then be embedded on your website, then Vimeo would definitely be the better option uh, because it does have a lot more features and settings for managing your videos as well as some of the privacy. But we'll go ahead and get into that uh, in a little bit. Okay, so now that we've got that out of the way, uh, let's show you how this process would work on YouTube. So we're already logged in, we're on the upload page. For the privacy setting, we're going to choose unlisted. Public means anybody can see it anywhere. Unlisted means only people with the link can see it, or if it's embedded somewhere, then it can be viewed there. And private means nobody can see it. Only you, the owner of the YouTube account, can view the video. So we want to do unlisted, and we will choose this video. This is just 10 seconds of black, so it uploads real quick. Um, but you would put in your video title, the description. If you're only going to be embedding this on a website, then you really don't need to put in tags, but you can if you would want. Uh, here we can see it's set to unlisted. And if you're going to be embedding something like a playlist, then you can go ahead and add it to a playlist as well. Uh, so for now though, we're done with this. And uh, this is the video link. Um, but in this case, we're embedding it. So we'll click the embed tab and we'll hit show more. And for the video size, you can choose a custom size or one of the presets. For the custom size, you would put it in right here. But we'll leave it at the default. And these are the settings that we are going to want to choose. So we want to uncheck so show suggested videos when the video finishes. This means when the video is done, it'll just be black. We do want to display the player controls. This is the play and pause button, sound, the video timeline, the settings, full screen, those buttons. Now, we want to uncheck show video title and player controls. That's this up here. So the video title, it might be nice to have, but we don't want to have this share button. So we're going to uncheck that. And then that's it. All you would do is copy the embed code right up here. You would go to your website and you would paste the embed code. So if you're doing it in an editor like this on Brilliant Directories, you would click this code view button and you would put it in here. Okay, so we'd save this and we'll open up this page. And here you can see the video, but nobody else can see this video. Only people you give the link to or people on this page will be able to uh, view this video. What you could also do on Brilliant Directories is you can check this button and make this page a members only page. That means only registered members on your website will be able to have access to this page. Regular website visitors uh, will not have access to it. So that's another option for you. Okay, so let's go on to Vimeo now. So we're signed into Vimeo, we're on the upload page. Uh, for the privacy, we're going to want to choose from one of these three options. So only people with a password can see this video. This means you can set a password, you can password protect this video and then distribute that password. And so people would need to put in a password before they view the video. That's one option. You can also um, only allow people 
you choose to see this video. So in this case, in this case, you would need to enter in those people's Vimeo username or email. And then the option that would probably make the most sense for the majority of situations is the second to last one. Only people with the private link. This is the same thing as what we just did on YouTube. This means only people you give the link to or wherever it's embedded. Those are the only ways you can view this video. Okay, so we will upload the same video. Just like YouTube, you would put in the title, the description. Privacy is what we just set. You can set the language if you want. Again, tags aren't necessary if you're only going to be embedding this on your website. And to continue, we need to select all audiences. So we'll save that, and then we'll click Edit Settings. Now what we want to do is go to the Privacy tab. So here, big in red, we can see that this video is only visible via the private link. And this is that link. So if we copy this and we open a new tab and we go to it, this is the page where the video is. So right now it's converting because we just uploaded it. But once this is done, this is the page where the video would be. What we can do is we can click this option right here, hide this video from Vimeo.com. This means it can't be viewed on Vimeo.com. It can only be viewed wherever we embed it. So that may be an option uh, you want to check. Also for the embedding, this is a really cool feature. We can choose to have the video be embedded anywhere on any website. Or what we can do is we can choose to only allow it to be embedded on specific websites. So in this situation, we only want this video to be embedded on our website. It can't be embedded anywhere else. So what we would do is we would get our website domain and we would put it right there. And once you put your domain here, you can add it. And this means that the video will only be able to be embedded and viewed on this website because it can only be viewed on the website because it can't be viewed on Vimeo because we chose this option. Okay, and then also just make sure download the video is unchecked. If this is checked, that means anybody who's viewing the video can then go ahead and download it. Probably not something you want uh, in this situation. So we'll save these changes and then we'll go to embed. Here are some other options for us. So uh, in this case, you may want to uh, always hide your profile icon. So we'll do always hide. And the same thing with the title, which is right here, and the byline, which is our account name. So in this case, we'll hide those. Then uh, we can probably uncheck show the like button since that won't really matter in this situation. And we can also uncheck the watch later button. We definitely want to uncheck the share button, uh, uncheck the embed button, although it doesn't matter because if somebody were to try to embed this on another site, they would just get a warning saying that it can't be played on this website. Okay, so uh, we can leave the full screen button there as well as the play bar. This is the play button, the timeline, uh, the quality, the volume, all that. Then for the outro, you can choose uh, what will appear after the video ends. In this case, we'll just choose nothing. It'll just end and that'll be that. And we will save these changes. And now to get the embed code, we're just going to click this get embed code link right here. And then we'll copy this. We will replace the YouTube link with the uh, Vimeo embed code. We will save the page. And then we'll view it. And now here is the Vimeo video. Okay, but you can see right here, uh, it's saying that because of the privacy settings, the video can't be played uh, on this page. Because this page is managemydirectory.com, and that's different from the domain that we added uh, to the safe list. Okay, so this process is really straightforward. Again, keep in mind uh, the differences between Vimeo and YouTube, uh, all the, the advanced settings that Vimeo does have. And I look forward to seeing you in future videos. Take care.